my electronics were right here on that ball as you've seen in many other videos for fishing but I want to put it across the front um, plates I got the bar I'm gonna do that but I need to make sure that these are long enough to go up here and you know what shouldn't be a problem let's get started well, why am I moving the fish finder forward like so many other people do um, I really don't use my fish finder like a fish finder I more so use it as just your chart your um, navigation because I fish or I used to fish in the 10,000 islands tons of different ways to get lost down here in Florida I don't fish like a big open lake per se so I really and the water is really shallow so I don't really even use the sonar much I use it for speed and depth overall because we do run into the sandbars and stuff like that um, just some low area and I'm just trying to clean up my cockpit um, where my feet are where I do the majority of the stuff when I'm on the kayak it was so crowded so we are cleaning up we're moving it forward and getting it out of the way I had it right here but I have to move it back a little bit I don't think I had enough clearance for the pedals so it's all loosely clamped together this is just resting with nothing once I get that all done I'll have enough clearance for the hatch to close but overall I really like it in that position versus on that ball right there it's just so much more streamlined let's close the hatch and see how it looks hatch is closed you know there's enough clearance for it to open I don't I put stuff in here I used to keep my tackle in here but I switched it back because I just got something else I just got the black pack and um, I just have like rain gear and anchor just stuff that I don't need to get into and that's one of the reasons why I'm moving this forward because I just am gonna look at it. God, it looks so much better. I might wind up taking that uh, sunshade off, but for now, I think we're gonna uh, I think we're gonna continue with this. I need to go to the shop and get another one of these because I'm gonna mount. I'm gonna drill a hole, I think, right here, and uh, get the wires run, and then we'll have to take it out for a spin. But I gotta sand these down so that they match the contour of these plates. So it's nice and flush, and then we'll drill a hole and mount that, mount that, mount this, drill those holes, and then run the wires and we'll be all done. Just gotta tighten it down, and then we'll mount it up. I'll finish tucking these cords in. So I gotta use these, uh, like the rubber adapters in here. But I am uh, I am super stoked with how this came out. This opens no problems whatsoever. Um, I'll take you around in a second, but super super thrilled. It's nice and sturdy. I could probably pick up the kayak. Yep, with it. Uh, 
I'm gonna like I'm gonna like the way that this is set up. So because my garage the sun is coming in this way makes it super dark, but that is what it's mounted on. Two flat adapters. Uh, I use the same screws or bolts that I had mounted when I had it mounted on the side. I ran the whole the cords through that hole there, and then they're gonna go in there. I just need to use those adapters in there to seal it up, but super, super happy with the way that this came out. There's your final product, looks great. I finally have a place to put these grips. They hook right around that bar. Still don't like the net there. I use it in one of the back cup holders, but the cockpit is super empty. That's for something coming up soon. Super empty in the cockpit. I like it. I love it so much more. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of that mini bin over there. I kind of use it as like a trash can, but I could get rid of it and then be totally clear in the cockpit and cleaned up. Super excited.